This is what everybody knows. Mr. Talk That Talk, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Mr. Pimp Caprice, man. You know what I'm saying? Talk That Talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. We gon' have fun. We be on fire. We be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all I mean, all I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just go ahead and Google us. Boss Talk Podcast 101, we're going to pop up first on top. But anyway, if you want to see our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you can see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the notification so you don't miss out on any of our episodes because they're coming in hot. And if you want to get the exclusive content, because we don't put everything on our regular side of YouTube. And the only way you can get the exclusive content is to go ahead and sign up for a membership. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section below, there is a link that says join our membership. Click that link, takes you to our membership, follow the instructions, because y'all see us on the streets all the time talk about, man, we love what y'all doing, keep it up, how can we support the brand? This is how you can support the brand, by the membership. Thank you in advance, and we love you, and thank you for the support. Man, oh love. First off, I want to know what she was saying first. I just want to. I, I just want to say, man, we got a very, very special guest in there today, y'all. He, he's, he's, he's one of the most extraordinary guys you ever want to meet when it come down to, uh, you know, getting the stories out, blogging, uh, all kind of stuff. This guy is very, very different when it come down to, you know, the body of work that he has created. And uh, it just so happened to be from where I'm from, man. East Texas stand up. We got Trill Talk. No Peel Talk is in the building, man. How you doing? I'm doing great, sir. Welcome to the today? show, man. Boss Talk 101 is happy to have you. Yes. And uh, we've been basically uh, waiting to get you back up here. I was going to ask you a few things, if you don't mind. I'm going to go right into it, if you don't mind. Um, P. Diddy. You know, you you hadn't been up here since P. Diddy had the house got busted. And... Uh, I just wanted to ask you, what do you think about uh, P. Diddy? Uh, a lot of people saying no Diddy. There's a lot of people that have pretty much uh, wiped their hands of Diddy. I want to know what you have to say about it. I say um, innocent till proven guilty. He ain't got arrested yet. Um, they must not got no serious charges on him. That's how I look at it. Like, I don't know what's going on with him. Well, allegedly, a lot of people have... Uh, Speculated that there was some other things on those tapes that they were looking Freaky for. Mickey? Um, who? Freaky Mickey. Uh, Meek Mill. Freaky Mickey. That's so, so now. you, yeah, I seen the allegations on Meek Mill. He was over in the pool, bending over and Get stuff, up. and he did the little bunny hop. Yeah. I don't know. Um, do you think that Meek can come back from from this situation? Because public humiliation is something else. I think he, I mean, he probably can come back from it, but I mean, the black community, I don't think they're going to let him make it. They're going to forever troll him about that. The same way they've been trolling Diddy for years. Wow. They've been trolling Diddy for, what, about 20 years now? Saying he was, you know, go the other way and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, you can come back from anything, but I definitely think, I definitely think Meek Mill did. I definitely think Freaky Meek and Diddy had something going on. Well, you know, I don't know if you remember, but there was a guy named Farnsworth, Ben. ben mm -hmm. The Umbrella Man. Yeah, the guy that sold the umbrellas and stuff. Like, there's been a lot of people, uh, even uh, her name, they called her Superhead. Mm -hmm. uh, she had came out with allegations about, uh, uh, you know, different things that was going on. With, with Farnsworth? With, yeah, that whole Diddy situation. A long time ago, she was really into the fact of, uh, you know, she had hit Tigger up one time. Yeah, I remember Big Tigger that. Yeah. from the basement. She, she said, said she busted went over there and said it was called kind of, you know. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff going on, man. That was before the internet. You know yeah, I remember all that. There's a lot going on. I read on. the book and everything. I read a book yeah, and everything. Um, so what do you think, man? Do you think that, um, you think Diddy comes back from this uh, uh, five years from now? Honestly, I think Diddy, I think Diddy time about done. Like, I don't think he going I don't think he really needs to shake back. I think he just needs to go and retire and sell out like just go go and float out, go live in Miami and enjoy itself. Wow. I have to ask you another question also. Um I wanna ask you about Sean Cotton. Sean Cotton been on Boss Talk one oh one and he said something that stuck out to me. He was saying that four bats yeah. 
had said he which one show should I go on? Should I go over here to uh, No Jumper, or should I go to Bootleg Kev or Vlad? Who should I go to? And uh, he made the remarks that he feel like if you're from a city that you should go to the city because later on you look crazy coming back. Oh, most when, definitely. If 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 when once you start coming off your hyenas and you try to go back to the local market, it looks weird. Do you agree with him? Uh, 100% agree with him. You do? Yeah, I think they don't be messing with home, man. They be going off and doing all that. Once they hit a certain point, they don't be wanting to come home and do no interviews. Wow, Trill Talk, No Pill Talk is 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 agreeing with Sean Cotton. Yeah, I 100% agree with him. Because, I mean, like, look at all of the people who did that. Like, if you go to them New York people, they're going to go to Math Hoffa first. Even if they are already on top, they're going to go to Math Hoffa before they go to anybody else. But a lot of people from down here, they go, they want to go to, like you said, Adam 22, um, what's the, uh, Bootleg Kid, they're going to go to Vlad. It's like it's like an accomplishment to them, I guess, I think. Like, they, don't, they, don't, they ain't satisfied with going to our platform. They more satisfied going with the big platforms. But, you know, people always say that um, they don't respect them at home. They always say you got to go build your fame up abroad first before they respect you here. And maybe that's the reason why they don't go to podcasts. I mean, but, like, a lot of them, they don't want to mess with you when they hire. Like, like Yellow Bees, for example. They all, they all sat down and had their meeting. They all invited all their they little couples. They had a couples retreat. All of them went on there and they all sat down and they talked and you know, but it's like they left out someone. But me personally, Yellow Bees wasn't missing with him when he was up top. It was damn near like he was on his fall off and he just wanted to reach out to everybody else and then he reached. You know, he reached out to him then. He didn't reach out to him at first. When last time you seen the Yellow Bees? Sean Cotton interview. Uh, it's been a long. long when last time you seen him on Terry Blues? You ain't seen with real life street star. Exactly. He waited till he fell off and then he went and talked to him. Wow. So you so that brings up a question. Do you feel like Yellow Bees has fell off? Yeah. It's over? No, nah, it ain't over, but he definitely fell off. He definitely took a step back. Mm. Damn. Yeah, he definitely took a step back. Man. You don't think so? I hadn't heard our last song I heard was Fuck Everybody. Yeah. I would I, I wouldn't I didn't really like, like this song, yeah. Why you didn't like it? It just seemed, it seemed like it. It's, <laughs> it's like cheesy. I'm being honest, it's cheesy. It's cheesy to me. Like, like he just, fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. That's what he said the whole song. He's kind of cheesy, man. Kind of cheesy. It did, it did. <laughs> what you think about it? I don't, it's, it's not the caliber of the music that he always put exactly, out. Exactly, that's what I said. It but was, the album before that, though, it was it had some jams on it. Well, though. you got to realize he had, he had a, 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 a song called, it was it called Pimp C? Yeah, with uh, what's his name? With um, uh, with um, uh, ESTG. Yeah, that was straight. You know that that CD was straight. But like, I don't know, man. I think Yellow really need to focus on pushing them artists. So you saying he he he? Is have you ever seen any of these artists in in these local markets push? And that go for Houston too. Have you seen them push a artist or bring somebody up under? Yeah. Who did you see? Kiki do it with Al D. He did it with Cal Wayne. Uh, Trey the Truth do it all the time. Uh, Slim got Killer Kali on and all of them. Um, and Slim got on all them niggas shit. Like, he done been on South Walk. When South Walk was on the come up, Slim messed with him. Propane. Slim sh show love to all them young dudes. And Kiki do too. Like, if you look at his new album. Matter of fact, Kiki just dropped. You know what I'm saying? Can't rain forever. Can't rain forever. I went down there and had a hell of a time with yeah, that boy. Yeah, got stuck in the elevator. Man. Yeah. yeah that was, was the only, that, that was a highlight, but down Trotting moment, but yeah, yeah, that's my boy, man. Love that y'all go check out that. Can't, can't rain, rain forever. forever. Can't rain forever. Yeah, you got niggas singing it. on that thing. Yeah, yeah, I heard you singing. Yeah, Jack Free. You seen him though? Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, like I said, um, Kiki got all the youngsters on there. He got young gal, Quiet Money died. He got all them youngsters, all the young dudes on there with him. So I wow. mean, they do it in Houston. It's just somebody in Dallas. I don't know what it is. Wow, man. Um, your boy I, call him old. <laughs> so I saw um, recently because you know Lamar Kendrick Lamar and mm -hmm. Drake you Drake. know they have that beefing going on well I guess in that euphoria they mentioned Sexy Red so mm -hmm. Sexy Red says she's gonna go and beef with Lamar so she should I think she'll put a better song out than Kendrick Lamar I'm just being honest I think Kendrick Lamar's this is was ass everybody's saying that I mean if I gotta okay this is the thing with this Rick if I gotta go 
and you got to show me a whole TikTok and tell me what you were saying in this song. It's really not a good diss, diss record. Like, when Tupac came out, we hit him up. You knew exactly what we were talking about when he came on there. You didn't have to go and look at no TikTok and be like, okay, so that's what he was talking about. Oh, so he said that's what he was talking about. You have to do that. No Vaseline, what you have to do? You have to do none of that. You knew he was talking God damn it, I'm glad y'all said it. He, it was just like that. Man, Kendrick Lamar got to do something better than this, man, because I don't want to hear that. Um, He's like a sophisticated. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I know they're going to be in the comments probably saying, ah, oh, man, that's because that nigga can't read. That's why he do that. You know, he sound like one of them niggas that don't, uh, you know, I ain't educated enough to understand it. But I just feel like it ain't jamming. In Texas, you got to be jamming. I don't give yeah. a damn about all that lyrics and you got to jam. When was the last time you seen a um, but a woman beef with a guy, though? You always see the woman beef with yeah. the woman or the but guy. She, I think she'll beat him. She'll put out a song better than him. Yeah, I think, so. the crowd, I think the crowd. I think if Sexy Red would would drop a song right now, and she ain't dissing, she ain't she can be dissing. But if the song jamming, I promise you it's gonna it's gonna do numbers. It's probably gonna be a bigger song. Wow, they waiting on it. They waiting yeah. to see what she gonna say. So what you think about Kendrick Lamar this? It's you so southern. You always say you from yeah, Texas. So yeah, it's, un, it's unfair for me to even calculate my response toward it. <laughs> what you think? Because about this? you know, I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of this is bubblegum beef. Yeah, meaning it's not. Even, I feel like it's soft. It's not really. It's not really something. You know, I'm used to. I'm I'm used to some hardcore heavy hitters, man. Yeah, and that's like this right here is like the battle of the. Uh, Man, it's like the battle of the nerds, kind of like that's what it seemed like. Man, it's it's not no it's not no either. Nah, I ain't seen no either. None your of that. Souls burn slow. Mm, yeah, it ain't none of that. <laughs> it ain't none of that shit. It ain't no uh no no mo three either. No, mo three had some harsh dishes. That's how mo three somebody. probably had. Do you, would you think the you truth? Think? I would say the truth is top five diss all time. Wow, I say it's top five diss all time because the facts in it. Yeah, I. I want to ask you about something, and I want you to be straight up with me about it. What's that? I had number seven on here. And yeah. you a big no, number seven supporter. You even supported him back early on. Yeah. And uh, he dropped uh, he dropped a song. He dropped a verse on the cypher, and at the end, he spoke on Rainwater. Yeah. And um, when he done that, it spiraled off a back and forth on Boss Talk one on one between them. Um when you see this going on, um who do you think is winning? I think he just dropped something else today on yeah, Rain. The old rappers, yeah. The old the, the old rapper song, yeah. How does I mean what I think Rain just a suck ass nigga. I'm just being straight up on it. I think he's a sucker. Rain came up here talk shit last time. You know, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna hold it back. He came up here talking shit last time. He mentioned everybody in these texts then when you said my name, he oh, he kinda turned me down and all that. Get me in the room with him. Last time I, I was I up here, him. I got a video footage of Rain outside with heavy security. He had security coming for an hour. You remember that? He had security up. I got I got videos of him and everything. <laughs> he brought security up. He was scared to come up. He acting like he was at the gym. Then he came up. Wait a minute. I didn't. I don't even he know talking, if he knew you was gonna be here that day. Man, though. it don't matter. That nigga knew I was gonna be here because I sat down with him. You told him you was calling him. Man, that nigga knew what was up. So you saying the reason he came with so much security because he knew you? He thought I was gonna do something to him. That nigga was over here. Boy, that nigga was nervous in the motherfucker when he was sitting in here. He was nervous in the motherfucker. Damn. But he talk all that shit like he's the big boss. He run Dallas. He do this, man. What other artists has he had that was successful since Mo3? Pink Pressure, where's she at? Nowhere to be found. Number seven, where he at? Selling dogs. Breeding pit bulls. The other dude, what was the other dude? Dun Dun. Nowhere to be found. Uh, Bumpy Johnson, he's still doing his thing, but like, I don't think he can get over the hump because of rain. Baby C. Where he at? Don't nobody know nothing about Baby C. He got one song where he beating on his chest and all that right there. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's all I remember. That song where he beating on his chest. What What have Rain did? What What really have Rain did for the city of Dallas besides Mo Three? I think I think Rain is. I agree that Rain. I asked him all the time. People say. You can't make another Mo Three. He said he don't want to do that. He and I tried to take care of his kids. Man, I tried to show Rain. Look, Rain is a hater. It's just point blank period. He a hater. He talk all that shit, sit somebody down, and he sat right in her last time and didn't have shit to say last time. So, I mean, I called him out for 10 racks last time. Remember I said 10 racks to fight? Remember that? Did, did he come out that? But no. he talking about come sit in front of him. 
I think it was more. I think he told me about he was scared. Team. He no, was scared. He said he'd, he'd have to have the money up front or something. But where his money at up front? He on here talking all that shit. I beat Rain ass up here. You know that. That's really why you really don't want me. I, I think you really don't want me to have him up here. And I whoop Rain. I really whoop Rain. I don't think Rain. Rain's not a street nigga. You heard what he Mo Three said. He ain't gotta be no street nigga, but he ain't finna talk like he no street nigga. And then think he you can't talk crazy to no nigga and think you ain't gonna have no motherfucking consequences. Why are you always trying to beat people up? It ain't about beating them up. He came up here. He talked about me. He I said nothing about him. It wasn't, it wasn't and he heavy. Should, nah, he shouldn't. He said it like I turned down. You know why he said that? Because he went to No Jumper and he let, what's his name, talk crazy to him, uh, Whack 100. Remember how he was talking to him on there? Remember all that shit? It was, it was bad. You, you remember all that? He embarrassed him. Would you let him talk to you like that? I don't No, 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 no. We ain't going to sugarcoat it. Would you let him talk to you like I that? I don't really. I'm from Texas, man. Exactly. And Ryan let him handle him. A half pint kind of let him handle him too. But Ryan got deliberately disrespected. So you saying that when these guys go up to they misrepresent Texas? Wow, they misrepresent Texas. They they hundred percent are. So you saying you wouldn't you wouldn't have let uh, Wag One Hundred talk to you like? Be that. honest, I probably wouldn't have went on no jumper. I rock with Boss Talk. Oh, Ooh, went thank on you. No jumper. <laughs> <laughs> went on no jumper. Boy, these southern platform, boy, they, hey, they coming up? Yeah, I, yeah. I went to Beehive, you know, something like That's that. That's my boy, shout out to Beehive. I ain't going to, ain't going to no, uh, no jumper. I think they kind of, they kind of, you know. Yeah, that's not, that's not all just weak, All of them weak up there. But wait a minute, you interviewed Flacco. Flacco, I told Flacco her he was weak. Remember I told you Flacco said that one time in a song, well, not in a song, he said that on there that he was sucker, you know what I'm saying? For, for some money. That's what he said, for a certain amount of money. He yeah. wouldn't answer it, that's what he said. But he answered it off camera for us. And he said he would. What? Yeah, you remember that? He said he would. Yeah. Mr. Drake, what is we gonna do about Trill? Trill Talk is really on here cutting why up you let, Why you let Ryan come up here and talk like that? You didn't even defend me, Mr. Jamaica. You supposed to defend me. We let you come up here and say whatever? Yeah, but hey, y'all let It's called us um, freedom of speech. Y'all supposed to check him, though. Y'all supposed to say, hold on now. Don't do all that. I did say something. It wasn't. I, I ain't going to lie to you. Rain comes up here. He do a lot of talking uh, back and forth with different Ryan people. Rain need a media show. <laughs> he need to get out of managing and all that. He just need to do a media show. Just start, you know what I'm saying? Run him a little platform. He be on there. Music review, music review. I really think all that, that shit. I think that. Let me just say this. I think y'all give Rain a bad rap because Rain give himself. A Rain bad rap. has actually went. Rain had Mo three, and I feel like for as the artists and the counseling and the way that it all happened. He just kept going and going and going. And what listen, has Rain I don't think did? He opened up about what it. What has really Rain don't. did for the Dallas besides Mo Three? You but still it, ain't but answering nobody that question. Nobody else has did a Mo Three, huh? No, I'm saying what? what he the only has, one that done did a Mo Three. No, what I'm saying is what, there's nobody else brought an artist out that hit like Mo Three in nah, Dallas. But we had life. a big X. Didn't use Rain. So one. you're saying huh? that uh, Mo Three is the biggest artist? No, I'm saying there's never been nothing like Mo Three in Dallas. After you sit back and look at it, what happened? How he came? But was that Mo three or was You're that Rain? Saying, what is Mo? What Rain is like Mo three? That was both. What did Rain do? No, he got some shows and shit like no, that. No, Rain was definitely promoting him, and Rain pretty much. I know they talked about the way the rhyme skill, according to Rain. That's they would have those conversations and the way that he rapped. What has he did for the DFW music scene? Besides Mo three, X, Rain, if you, Rain, listen, 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 no, listen, no, 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 Rain, if you take Mo three, I'll tell you What do? What have he done? Rain, do we even know Rain Water? If yes, you take Mo three, yeah. no, we don't. Yeah, Rain pushed that book era. He was big in that book era. Hit that, did that. No, man. Rain, Rain he, 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 he booked some, did. he booked some parties, he booked some shows. You Mr. know, hit that say that he took him to Hawaii. He said He said he took him to Hawaii. Yeah, that's what Rain said. He said that. He said he said Mr. Hit that and and and. Rain took the to Hawaii. He said look run in. Who Ray, ain't nobody else took boy, that ass nowhere. Like, boy, you sound like you. No, I'm Ray, telling you, you really what happened. Like, yeah. I've been listening to that. Rain took them boys in Hawaii. What they do in Hawaii? They did a show, made money. Okay, nobody but I'm else saying, ain't took nobody yeah, they did that, But the music took them. I want to see Rain get a person out the mud, like he did Mo3, and take Mo3. Mo he didn't get Mo3 out the mud. Mo3 was with other people before him. Let's get that clear. Yeah, but he didn't peak till he got Nah, Ray. he didn't peak. Now, I'll give him credit for that. Rain might have told him what to do, but besides Mo three, what have Rain Water did for Dallas? I think Bumpy Johnson nice, and you know that. No, I said it, but he Bumpy can't. You Johnson know why he can't nice, get over man. the hump? 
Bobby Johnson. That rainwater, he flooding him out. He flooding him out with that rainwater. He trying to get to the top, but he will not get to the top dealing with rainwater. Big X, so, absolute Big X, he this. went a different route than rainwater, and he's successful. Let me, rain always apply, Big X, but if I get rain up here and you you, you think I can get y'all to sit down again? Yeah, but... He gonna be quiet. He ain't gonna talk like he talking now. Who, me? Yes. Nah, I'm finna tell... Okay, now, so we gonna, say that. So we, gonna, we, we just gonna act like you didn't tell me that last time. Don't put your hands on there. Come on, don't do that. You said all this behind the scene. I said all this. Slap that nigga. I said all this. Now, we not gonna, we not gonna act like that, though. Now, we said all this and you were like, nah, don't do that. A lot of time on Boss Talk when I be on here, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, man. Oh, Sometimes Lord. he try to censor me. I try my best to, I try to, to keep get, it serious. Because we have to do this show in order to push the agenda but if for I the put, culture. But if I put my hands on doing him up no, here, what? Y'all think I did him wrong, wouldn't you? You not gonna be doing that over here. You know better than that. You I'm let them. You let the. You let the. Uh, they didn't uh, fight yeah, in here. You let the. You let the. Uh, what's the name? Come the OGs coming here and do all that. But they didn't fight. They but, left out. Yeah, I told exactly. them to respect the store. They they respect. I ain't gonna them. respect the store next time. Then since you want to talk like this, see you you setting this up. Now, 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 you you can't be saying behind talk the scenes. To talk to you him. Talk, now. Okay, hold on. This is what I'm going to say. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. This is what I'm going to say. I say it. Anybody who was who um result in using their fist means that you can't find the proper words to express your feelings. No, 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 no. It ain't about that. It ain't about that. Why that's you? Deep. Why do you have that's to deep. resort that's to deep. physical altercation? Because he get a little. He get to keep. I think he think he's something you can't, sweet. It's just like boxers. You know the boxers that the face off. How they be in each other's face and talk. I used to be a boxer. Street and they boxer. don't have to even raise a hand to each other. They just yeah. talk. Honestly, Ryan is a peon to me when it comes to you know some fighting and shit like that. He a peon to me. You know, but I, I mean, he come up here and talk loud, and you didn't. You know, you said that last yeah. time. You said there that. You, yeah, you go. There, there you go. Yeah, you said that last time. You remember that? Rain is uh no no. Did you not say don't put your hands on the man? We ain't gonna do all that. Yeah, I tell you that all the time. Yeah, but that ain't just that. Yeah. Rain. That's everybody yeah, that we be you, interviewing. But, but then you just said I don't think he gonna say nothing. That she said I don't think he gonna say nothing. That's what she said. No, nah, he he will. Hold he, on, hold if, on, hold I on. can't let him saying go to that something, mode. Hold on, saying something and putting your hands on somebody is two totally different things. But you said I wasn't gonna say. I nothing. say you're not gonna say nothing. I didn't say you. Oh, no, I'm gonna say something. But I'm telling you, because, if he gets too heated and he get to being too disrespectful, I'm putting my hands on. Him. Oh, so you don't know how to just talk and argue or talk oh, I, back I know and forth without I, without. Yeah, but I took anger management. Himself. I have a problem with my anger. I, I've adjust, you know, I've, so I've you go addressed to class? that before. No, I have before. I went to mental. You know, did you graduate? To, huh, yeah, I did all of that. So you sh it should be handled then. Nah, that was many years ago, many moons ago, many many. So you're moons not ago. you're not practicing the breathing I and try the, 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 the. I try to pray. They tell me countdown and all that stuff, but I mean, one time, sometimes it get to a certain extent. You just got you got to let them have it. You remember Martin? You say Martin is a Gina. Martin is an angry man. man yeah, you remember. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think I, I really think that uh, I think Ray. Let me let me you gonna let me talk? Yeah, I'm let's talk. They tell you to let me talk all the time in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I, I think you know rain is needed. Trill talk, no pill talk is needed. But what has rain did for the DFW besides Mo three? Well, you know, he what did. What has Rain did? What has Rain did? But every artist he had, man, if I could put it up here, you put this on the screen when I say this. Bobby Johnson. Dun Dun. Number seven. Pink Pressure. None of them can get over that hump. A lot of them then fell by the wayside. Selling dogs, breeding pit bulls, all that kind of stuff. They ain't trying to do this no more. Damn. Is it Rain or is it them? What is it? Man, can I get y'all both to you agree to just... Uh, you know, maybe we can do a celebrity boxing match. Oh, I'm definitely down for that. Maybe we can do a, uh, um, let's see. What no, we, he said just get me and her to sit down with him. That's what he said. Yeah. But it happened. We done did that before. He didn't have the energy that he had on her when I when he came up real. He didn't have that energy. What is the what is the problem? Because he didn't, it really wasn't. He the, said he tried, he tried to go he, around I, mentioning my name. I said, chill talk, no pill talk. And he said, uh, he be kind of turning me down. And apparently, I'm bigger than him. He feel like I can turn him down. What make you think a nigga from East Texas, a country nigga from East Texas, can turn you down like that? He got to have some respect somewhere, though. For him to feel like I'm cut, turning him down. Ain't that what he said? He said, I'm turning him down. Yeah. I don't know. When you first came out, you, you said that... Uh, he was disrespecting East Texas. East Texas. Yeah. And, and now we come... And then next time you said that you get ten thousand dollars to fight him, he didn't want to do it. And then now you you're saying that basically 
You give it, you saying all his artists ain't doing nothing. They not. That, these are facts. These are facts. Look at the numbers. Mm. Rain said himself on this show that a million views ain't shit, didn't he? Buffy Johnson just hit a million views. Rain didn't say nothing about that. On a song that been out for almost a year. Mm-hmm. So what has Rain did for the DFW besides Mo3? What if he did? You got to answer that question, E. I told you the boogie movement was a he was he had Man, that was Mr. Hit That, and them niggas was rapping, man. Them niggas, man, Spain, them did all that. Then that shit he did through that goofball shit. What did he do? Act like he had went and told the police on somebody just to get the attention. You got to do all that to get attention of a motherfucker? Yeah, why your artist ain't got enough talent? Mo3 didn't have to do all that kind of shit to get attention. Act like he was a snitch. He had pictures with DPD, all of that. You seen it on there? I didn't see that. Yeah, he got pictures with DPD, all that on there. I think I seen him with with Sauce and Peso now. Yeah, at the end of the day, he out there talking about he mocking what's name. It's like he attention seeking, man. He attention seeking, man. Mocking who? Mo3, Mo3 album is going to sell, man. He ain't got to do all that to push Mo3 album. You rock with Mo3. Yeah, I do. It's just, it's just, man. It's the manager, man. Negative ass Sean even knew it, man. Negative ass Sean, no rain ain't, you know, rain be tripping, man. Wow, man. I, I said, I didn't know. I, I, I thought we were talking and about Rain P. lied to me. We finna bring that up too. Rain lied. Rain called me out the blue one day and said, this is what he said. He said, he missed me. He called me. I'm like, what's up? I'm busy. You know what I'm like, man, I'm trying to get your name so I can put it on this plaque and all this shit. I ain't never seen no plaque. I'm like, like, uh, half paint told Yellow Beezy, I want my plaque. I want my plaque. He ain't gave me the plaque yet. He lied. Damn. What you think? Uh, you think you think he being hard on Rain, the Rain situation, or Rain spoke on him, or what? What you got? I think Rain spoke on him, so he trying to get his clap back. Damn. I don't need no clap back. I clap at him. I clap him. Wow. So so. What I don't I can say Bumpy Bumpy doing all right. Yeah. I said he he doing good, but he can't get over that hump because of rain. Four bats gone out the world. Roll summer gone out the world. Came 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 way different than anybody we. But I'm seen. saying though, they don't need rain. Who needs rain? Who no. needs rain? Do they need him? He calling all them niggas old, old rappers. He calling all them, trying to talk down on the ciphers, all that. And like, Selma had a good point. Selma said if Baby would have heard that, Baby wouldn't, might not have even heard it. But when you ask somebody, he would have like, oh yeah, this jamming. But Ryan got on here and tried to, you know what I'm saying, tried to take away from them boys, man. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, you know he going to come back on here. I mean, I, what, what don't you tell him next time he come up here, he can't come back up here and tell him in here with him. You was here with him last time. Yeah, but he said he said that he need to get him in the same room. So next time you interview Ryan Ward, I need to be here. I dare not show call you. I'm going to put y'all in here together like before. Yeah. I ain't going to touch you, Ryan. I promise you, Ryan. I'm not going to put my hands on you, none of that. We're going to sit here and we're going to debate. You said you did something to pop off the media. I don't know the guys. I don't know what you said about that. I don't know what you did when I don't know them guys. But I'm telling you, I want to sit down with you. I want to sit down with Ryan Water. Benjamin Ryan Water. That's who I want to sit down with. Since he said he want to get me in the same room with him. Wow. Man, you, you there you have it. Um, Trill Talk, No Pill Talk. Um, you know, like I said, y'all both dope. Yeah, man. Y'all both bring a lot to the table. He has a presence in the Dallas area. Um, yeah, he do. Uh, and, and other markets. And, you know, he got them plugs. He over there dealing with uh, Empire and all of them. And man, we ride with Boosie, man. We ain't worrying about Empire. We ride with Boosie, man. Boosie said we don't deal with Gazi, man. Boosie, Boosie, Gazi won't give Boosie his money, man. We don't, we don't got a man. Nah, no, man. Damn. So you you feel like, you feel like Gazi should, uh, Pay boost. He, he's compensating. Yes, he's compensating for Young Blue. I definitely think he should. Wow. What do you think? I don't know. Don't you answer that? Because I see when you get that look on your face, you don't need to answer nothing. Because she ain't even paying no attention at that point. Mm. But I, I can tell you, man, um, Boosie is a uh, Boosie Cole. Yeah, Boosie just put out a blues album. Him and my boy Marcel. He got all them boys on there. He got um, he got a uh, what's his name? Uh, King George, Big Pokey, 
Uh, Sir Charles, he got a bunch of them on there. He I got to get that. He, yeah, when Boosie, did it drop? Boosie jamming last week. He jamming. He jamming. Some people ain't going to like it, but you know, I feel like I like it. I like it better than Boosie last rap album. Really? Yeah. What was the name of it? Uh, Boosie Blues. Boosie Blues. Yeah. Damn But really right now you need to be streaming that Lil Kiki, Can't Rain Forever, uh, Four Bats, that's some Texas shit. Uh, DJ K just dropped the album again. You know, you check that out. You know, we got a lot of stuff coming out of these ticks. Ro Summer on fire right now. Ro Summer been up there with uh, Big X and King Kong movie, all that, man. You be on it, man. East Texas stand up. Trill talking to Pill talking, representing like he always does. Putting it down. Really, really putting it down, man. Oh, yeah. We appreciate everything you do in East For Texas. For sure, man. Too. You just make like, sure you let Rainwater know you appreciate it. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait, a, did, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Don't get smart with me, yeah, nigga. You let rain walk. Now, now you know damn well you don't come on boss talk getting smart with me. What the I hell? I just need you to let your home, boy. You right since you since you the, the messenger. Since you the messenger, no, won't you I'm tell gonna him. put y'all on here together, yeah, nigga. Yeah, you let him know. Y'all yeah. gonna get on here together and y'all gonna talk and pop y'all whatever and y'all get it off your chest. Rainwater, I don't think Rainwater even realized I'm the one that brought Mo three down there last time. Me and Riley. We brought Mo3 down there this first concert down there. Nah, we brought him to Club Trip. In Marshall? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we packed that bitch out. When when, when what's, the girl died, Angel had died that weekend. And Mo3 came down there and celebrated with her. Nah, I didn't even know that, boy. You yeah. messed my head up with that one. Yeah, Rain don't even know that. He be talking all that noise. I done helped that man. I put money in his pocket. We didn't have to book Mo3. Yeah, like I said, I'm one of the first people to brought Mo3 down there. Me and Raleigh and Pooh in Dangerfield. Shawantra Lee. We both, we both brought Mo3 down there before. And we booked him through Ryan. Me and Raleigh did. And you know I ain't lying about this. No, I know Drew. Raleigh. Yeah, we brought him down there. So it ain't like I'm hating on Ryan. I just feel like he don't be trying to give credit. Like, man, I, I booked, I booked, I spent money with you. And then you want to try to talk bad about me and all that, man. We ain't going to do all that, man. We just ain't going to do that, man. I ain't going to have that. Wow. I didn't have... Uh I don't think it, 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 it's been a lot of subjects that I, I could have tackled with you. Uh, you know, um, I seen T. Jones on her the other day. Man, that boy, that T. Jones, say the king of East Texas. I mean, and I, it's a dude, some dude sent me a diss song. I don't know who he was. Who was it? I don't know. I have to let you know. My whole thing with that is, man, like, it's like with T. I saying he the king, man. A lot of people say that stuff behind the scenes, like he ain't the king of East Texas and all that stuff, but until somebody say he ain't in public, or challenge him. What is it? Then what he said, be your truth to queen? I honestly don't think nobody in East Texas female can go bar for bar with her. Wow. I don't think so. Yeah. Then he talked about Mama Scott. He like, I salute Mama Scott. Mama Scott do a lot of stuff. Like a lot of people, if they, man, I'm tell you something. Somebody said something earlier today, man. They said um, that a Mama Scott was a man. She wouldn't get treated like that down there. They, they respect her a whole lot more. You agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, like Mom Scott didn't help a lot of people, man. Yeah, she put a lot of money out there. Yeah, Mom Scott, Mom Scott look out for a lot of people, man. And like the same thing she doing, they'll praise a dude if he did. But when it come to her, they don't praise her like that. Now, I'm pretty sure there'll be some haters on her too, but like they don't want to give her her just due for that. But outside of me, Bubba Dub, Mom Scott, and East Texas, like, like really, like, we the ones really kick down the door kind of fun. What about me? You act like I ain't from East Texas. Yeah, but you done kind of got ain't Dallas. No you done went Dallas. Nigga. You I said was, you went Dallas. Minute. They, sit, sit, sit. Let me, they, let me they didn't invite you go, to the... Let me, uh, to let me the, go um, and pop your, pop your bubble. Uh, when you knee high to a grasshopper, nigga. Yeah, but what about... Uh, they, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, nigga. That saw down there where you at? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I stopped that yard. But you can't even get no ago. fish down there. You want me to bring your fish up That's because you my people. But I'm telling you, when it come down to East Texas... Another thing, fishing. Speaking of fishing. Wait a minute, let me say this. When it comes down to East Texas, man, don't play with the y'all already. The real ones know. I heard you, man. I heard uh, you. The real ones know. So for you, you to man. even get over here and say you and who you say, Bubba saying, Dub? You didn't meet Bubba Dub and, and Mama Scott? Else? Mama Scott. And you ain't say boss talk? I mean, you kind of Dallas. Yeah, now. That's what they said. Hey, what you tell yourself up here? You want yeah, No, I ain't from stop. Dallas. Since they, since they, stop, I think he's going back to rep East Texas more since bro, they had to come by y'all without no, you. No, no. They I, had to come by y'all without you. You remember they had bro, to come by y'all with Yellow Bees and they didn't invite you? Bro, if, baby, where? East Texas right there. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm saying that why, didn't, Texas invi- on my why didn't invite you yeah. to the Kumbaya? So when I go places, why you didn't get invited when to Kumbaya? I have to go when it get rough and you have to go places where you have to take your shirt off, where you got to really rep it. Well, I got my hood on my Hold back. On. When you when you have to go to places where you have to really rep it, I got it on my back. Niggas see and they my know. My whole back covered up with it. So I repped it the hard way, nigga. Yeah, you, you did. You could never go back and rep it the way I did. Why they don't let you in up here though? I'm not trying to get in no Why didn't invite you here. to Kumbaya? You said again. Bro, the I'm first of all not a part of their peers, bro. They all came up together. But I didn't come up with them. Them not my peers. You a to major be honest platform, with her, man. And I'm they, a major platform, period, before even the numbers. They should have invited you, man. You don't it's think, so you don't think they should have invited you? No. You don't feel like that was some shade? Though? No. You don't feel like there's no shade in there? Those are not my peers. Mm, okay. Man, I'm older than them young cats, man. I'm setting the bar for OGs up oh, here. Okay, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why you had an OG gangbangers from LA up here. I love that. Or yeah, either, yeah. Or if not them, it's going to be Ice T or something. Yeah. I'm going to rock out with the older cats. So I, I rock with the young niggas. Yeah, but you But I know, my, I know my peers. You so know you what I'm saying? So, so, how do you have a man come on your show? That disrespect old rappers and stuff, and you supposed to be doing it for the old OGs and stuff. Ooh, who disrespect the rain? At the beginning of the seven video, it got about five or six clips from your show where he said <laughs> old oh, rappers. Clips. He, said, he said old oh, rappers. <laughs> he got two you clips. You clips be for the OGs, Bro, but they you got said, hey, two I'm clips. just saying. What, what, he what got two clips. Going? I think he had one of uh, Say Cheese and one of Big D. Nah, I had a bunch of yours he on there. Two. Now. I think it was about three or no, four. No, it was not. It was two. And he said, oh, he called him the big three. All but that. at the end of the day, you can, as you sit here today, if yeah. you say whatever, this is your moment. Yeah. You can say whatever you want to say. It's your opinion. All this stuff is subjective. So you don't, you didn't, have, you didn't feel no type of way about the Kumbaya? About what Kumbaya? The kumbaya. When all of them came up there together. No, nah, because I wouldn't have went if they invited me. Oh, you want to win? No. Oh, what you say? You don't go when you ain't invited, huh? No, I, even if I was, I wouldn't have went. Oh, why you wouldn't win? Cause that's just not my thing. Oh, ah, okay. You want to get them? You want to get them here, huh? You want to get them here? You come here. It's, it's, it's up and it's up and running. You want a yellow bees interview? I I cut for yellow. I ain't. In I'm no, telling me, do you want an interview with him? I won't say that I'm I'm not waiting on interview with yellow. But would you like an interview with him? I interview anybody. So yellow bees, right now, he needs an interview, man. Can he get an interview in Dallas? No, it ain't like that. <laughs> you don't want an interview, bro? No, nah, I mean, it's not a thing. That's, at the end of the day, he going through his situation, man. It yeah. seemed like he's struggling with these different platforms. He he came up with a lot of those guys. He trying to come back. He let, trying to let, come let back me in. finish. He came up with a lot of those guys. So mm-hmm. if anybody got an interview, it would probably be real life or probably say cheese. You know, I didn't come up with Yellow Beezy. Mm-hmm. I came up with Trill Talk, no Pill Talk. Yeah, I'm So it's not, it's, it's a different thing. We sit here together. You had 300 subscribers. I had 700 subscribers. And with, listen, there, yeah. and now it's a whole different ball game. But I'm just saying, you seem to come up as everybody else did. Yeah, so I've seen. I, watched I it. respect the people that have sat on the platform like yourself mm-hmm. and other people who've been supporting me ever since I started. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, and, and I don't no disrespect to him, but that's not that's not the whole game no more. Oh, so, okay. So the yeah. game accounts, game fucked up. I so ain't do you got think no the, blogger, the bloggers, do the bloggers and the media, do they run the rap game and stuff really now? They definitely a big part of it. I honestly, think, great, I big honestly part think that media outlasts rappers. Since I've been doing this, no, I've yeah, seen yeah, rappers yeah. come and go. Media outlasts rappers. Yeah. When they get old and like like Rain saying they get old and they disappear, you like the media Rain. still be. You like Rain. You like Rain. That nigga like Rain. Man, but what's up with Boosie, man? Boosie talking about fishing, man. Boosie, hey, Boosie said he caught 140 some of, fish. A lot of fish out there. I see. But him. where is he catching them from? I ain't knocking him, Boosie. I ain't knocking you. You catching your fish? You catching them from a stock pond somewhere? You know, I don't salute to you. you caught a lot of fish. But I need you to come down there to the Lake of the Pines in East Texas. And come out there and fish with us, man. We're going to show you how to fish, catch some real fish, man. We're going to catch some crappie and brim. It ain't all about catfish, man. Them farm-raised crap catfish. We talking about it's some real fish, wild load, fish. Man. You know what I'm saying? You know, come down there, do, fish with your boy. Trill okay, talk, no, no pill no talk. You know what I'm saying? I think real. I can beat that 142 no, that you catch out there. Them hoop so like do you you saying if he come out to Lake of the Pines, it's going to be a different He ain't going to catch all them fish. Would you go to his hood? Would you go to Baton Rouge? Would you go to... But that's a stock pond. We talking about... I'm talking about real, you know what I'm talking about, lake so fishing. So you saying this nigga really can't fish? No, nah, I didn't say that. Not getting this too, said I said he can fish. He he raised them fish. Or them somebody them raised them. them. <laughs> somebody raised them. What I'm saying is, we want some real, can he catch them crappie like that? Can he catch them brim like that? 
Or them goggle eye. Yeah, or, the, or them bass like that. I ain't never seen Boots catch bass. I ain't never seen him catch bass. All I see is catfish. So what I'm saying is, Boots, I want to challenge you to a fish off. We can fish, you know, we can have the cameras out there and everything. We'll set it up. We go out there. We can fish. You say you fish eight hours a day. I'm trying to fish 10 hours, 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go up there to the spillway at the dam in Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lake of the Pines, and we're going to fish. Wow. Boosie, you heard me. It's a challenge. Uh, Trill Talk, No Pill Talk uh, challenges Boosie to a fish off. Uh, he, at, at the end of the day, he claims allegedly that you, you're, you're fishing out of stock ponds. So I'm just going to uh, tell you that the challenge is out there. Is there a pot? Is there a money? Is there a uh, man, whatever, he like money? Once he responds, we'll discuss it then. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want him to think I'm hating on him. I just want him to go. I want to teach him how to catch some real fish. You know what I'm saying? Not just catfish. Wow. There you have it. There you have it. So, you 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 know, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? Man, you know what it is. Trill Talk, No Peel Talk on every platform it is. Any kind of thing. You look up Trill Talk, No Peel Talk, I'm going to show up. Wow. And, and. Shout out to uh, all the guys that you discussed on this platform today. Yeah, man. Shout out to all you know of them. That, you, know you, what I'm you, know, you know Rain going to be coming back on here. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to Rain coming to see me or whatever he want to do, however he want to do it. Mama Scott having Fast Bash in July, man. You can come out there. Come to Fast Bash, Rain, and we can do it right then. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about it right then or whenever you want to do it. It's up to you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave like that. You know, like he walked wait up minute, by wait here. Wait a minute, like uh, that, uh, and, uh, wait a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say, man. Um, what, say what? Sit down, man. Say what? You from the 903. Yeah. Say, nigga, that's what I I started the 903. It wasn't even no oh, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you one of them Bawana Say, boys. Ooh, you a Bawana boy, man. I had Raw around here. Let's Y'all know it. Nigga, check the track record. Who done interviewed more East Texas nigga than me? I think I, I know I interviewed more than you, nigga. Nah, I don't think Check it, man. man. I, don't think I done interviewed more East Texas nigga than Trill Talk, no Peel hey, Talk. Well, we Go look at up. it. I'm and in my comments, everybody always say that E represent East Texas. He always show us love. They said, that's why, they don't, want, it, that's why they don't show you no love in Dallas, huh? Man, I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk.